You're watching the Al Fun Show, November 22nd, 2011. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Al Fun, um, Al Fun, and um, I have some news to tell you today. We're going to start with the Penn State scandal. Um, this is more victims. Um, over time, um, uh, was a uh, <coughs> has been victimized for a sexual assault from a um, sexual assault from the former assistant coach of Penn State University, Jerry Sandusky where Joe Paterno has refused to report it to the police eight years ago in March of 2002 where Jerry suggested Sandusky was shot with a 10 year old boy in where he was showing his penis kinda weird isn't it this should be all this just should be a lesson to you guys this should be a, a lesson to you guys um, where you sh you should you should not like sexually assault anybody regardless of what, what you're doing also in college news, um, Penn State has won their first football game without, without the for, without the coach Joe Paterno, who has worked as a coach for Penn State for 46 straight years. That's a lot. In the political news, Obama, <coughs> Obama is beating Obama by 10 points in the New Hampshire um, New Hampshire State, whatever it's called. Um, I say it's time for a new president because Obama uh, is not is not doing well as a president. Um, the kind of um, pretty much most of the U.S. is affected by Obama, negatively affected, but um, obviously. <coughs> and another news: civil community has has refused to pass the debt problem, which which um caused two million unemployed workers in the United States. To, to not get unemployment benefits while, while the employment rate is down to like about 5% there's going to be some people they're not going to be able to there's going to be some people that are not going to be able to find a job easily and in music news <coughs> gym class here gym class heroes featuring Adam Levine's Stereo Hearts top number one last week according to American Top 40 with Ryan Seacrest um, so uh, you should you, go sh you should go check it out you should listen to it um, it is the horrible movie Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 1, um, <coughs> that's been released last week, um, reach, it reach, um, has, um, earned $138.1 million in just one week, uh, with, uh, 28% critical pool on Rotten Tomatoes, followed by Happy, Be Happy Feet 2, the enjoyable movie where, uh, Penguins Dance, um, <coughs> Twenty-one point two million dollars, uh, topping at forty-three percent critical approval on Rotten Tomatoes. Followed by followed by Morals, Jack in Jail, and the <coughs> the best, probably the best uh, movie you should watch, Puss in Boots, with eighty-two percent, and with earnings at ten point eight million dollars. There's obviously a reason not to see Breaking Dawn. <laughs> it's only for Twilight fans, obviously. World well, news today. Um, <coughs> this been out <coughs> this been outbreak in Cairo, um, as tens of thousands of Egyptians gathered in central Cairo, calling for an end to army rule. Even as the head of Egypt's ruling military council vowed to replace the cabinet and hold presidential elections by the end of June, but the armed forces said they have no power ambitions and put the interests of the country before all else. It's and it's fully prepared to turn over their responsibility immediately and go back to the main task. Or protected the country if people so want for refund them. Why would so why would why would the army want to like control the, control the country? Can they just elect a president for for Egypt or are you just too lazy? And when, and the Al Fun Show news is gonna be um, two weeks. Uh, I'm gonna be posting a show every two days, number the 28th and no 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 not not the day not the exact dates. Um, but but actually every Monday and Friday. From now, starting November 28th, 2011. Um, uh, hopefully, it'll be a lot more better um, since because of the short video. And that's it for today, guys. I'm out of fun and uh, peace out.